Right, so we're going up first with Gavon Karma versus Peachy, uh, which appears to be Toon Link versus uh, uh, Peach Mewtwo. Uh... Peach, Peach Mewtwo. Peach Mewtwo. Oh. Yeah, let's let's go with Peach Mewtwo until proven otherwise. Uh, this matchup is. I would I'd actually put it as um Orange Pop Mewtwo. Orange. Uh... Yeah, I could see it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, all right. Let's get to the match here. Uh, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Because they're both fairly projectile heavy characters for the most that is, part. That is certain. Um, let's see. Uh, Toon Link has could have a pretty easy time killing Mewtwo because of his bomb combos and those oh. and, Mew and Mewtwo may have a I can see Mewtwo having a little bit more trouble killing Toon Link. Yeah. Probably because of the speed advantage. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh he timed Down that there. perfectly. Oh it's spicy. Up smash. And that's up smash is going to take the stock immediately from Peachy. Von Karma is not in a good position, though. One up throw will take the stock at this point. Up throw, boys. Or, or just eat the fair. Just eat the fair. Back at even socks. And we're back to square one. All right. Now, what I'm liking about his Mewtwo is that he isn't necessarily playing it too aggro. Yeah. Definitely. He's 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 very much trying to space him out as much as possible because he knows if he gets up close and personal, Toon Link will hit him like a truck. That's that's the same. And playing in a very non-activated playstyle against someone like a Toon Link is a very interesting choice of playstyle because of the whole projectile thing. Yeah. And the whole I can hit you from across the stage and you can do nothing about it. Oh, oh, and he's going to hit them with that Shadow Ball. Nicely done with Peachy going 1-0 to zero versus Von Karma. Get those MLG air horns out. That was, a, <laughs> that was an epic snipe. That was, that, was a, that was a good snipe if I've ever seen it. He's gotten quite a few. Uh, he almost got that snipe in the very beginning of the match where he just barely clipped his foot. Barely. And if it weren't for that, uh, if it weren't for that perfect shielding there, uh, he would have eaten that stock. He would have absolutely eaten it. But we're moving on to uh, Duck Hunt. Yeah, we're, we're moving on to the Duck Hunt stage here. Um, now, this stage in particular is very interesting. And I, I, I would argue, in my personal opinion, this stage allows for very interesting uh, mix-ups. For sure. This, has, this definitely has some of the more interesting platforms out of the whole stage list. Not just, not just the legal stages, but the, all of them in general. Yeah. It's, it comprised so many opportunities for very many different characters. Oh, man. I think one of my favorites, though, is... Uh, it was a match between... I don't know the... I don't remember the names. Ooh! Ooh. What happened there? Did he, the, did he get hit by his own bomb? Ooh! Nope, he's just... forward smash. Yeah, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna eat that forward smash alive. But yeah, there was this match between a Little Mac and a Ryu. The Ryu was hiding up in the trees, and Little Mac has KO Punch ready. Little Mac hit one of the ducks right below the first branch there, and the duck oh. and the duck came up and he was oh, able to no. KO Punch it. <laughs> oh, that! Oh, oh, son, that sounds good. Toon Link coming back with his own Rock Ward Smash. Yeah, Peachy's got a, a fairly decent lead, but a good Ooh. dare from. Uh, very nice. Good dare for Peachy. I love well-timed dares. Phoenix smashing right. Seriously, when are we going to get feet, uh, Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix right and Professor Late. If we get those two in Smash, I'll be happy. Oh, oh not quite. That was too close. Good use of the. Oh, oh no! <gasps> <laughs> oh, Toonling Sun. Oh. oh, 